This is a sit area of a bobcat. When you see tracks side by side, that's called teeing. It usually means a stop. But the front paws are elongated because it's where the legs rested. And behind there, you can see the haunches. And so before that, there was a secondary stop. It's even deeper in the snow. And while it doesn't necessarily mean that it's been there for a longer period of time, it is certainly an indicator that it probably sat there for a longer period, scooched up to this edge that opens out into a clearing and then decided perhaps this wasn't a good place to hunt these snowshoe hare after all. You can see where it got a slow start, stood for a little while posting or teeing and then another stop here as bobcats do and then slowly in bobcat fashion because it's using its eyes and not its nose makes its way up through into the brush again. Bobcat. The, remember, it's been, it has been raining for a while, but you can tell, again, the circular compression shape. Look at the massive amount of volume the heel pad takes up in this bobcat track, and also how this toe is kind of thrown a little bit more to the left, and the others, the other three are placed kind of closer together. So if we were to divide this down the middle, if we were to divide this down the middle towards the direction of travel, it would be asymmetrical. The stick coming up closer to um, the two left toes. Okay. Look how asymmetrical this track is compared to the coyote track. <laughs>